The field of robotics is progressing faster now than at any other point in history. For hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars, you can get bots to walk on planets, or just like, talk to you, I guess. I'm pretty sure that man is actually going to reach another planet pretty soon. I mean, Elon Musk is the richest man in the world, and he's throwing everything he's got to get us to Mars. That being said, the first boots to land on a foreign planet likely won't be human at all. You see, NASA has been working on humanoid robots for quite a while now. They even call them Robonauts. These robots cost around $2 million to perform certain functions. They are specifically constructed to resemble humans to assist human astronauts with tasks that that require a great deal of dexterity. Also, I assume they're programmed to give excellent high fives. The most sophisticated Robonaut ever made, with the coolest name by the way, is Valkyrie. It is designed for planetary travel. Valkyrie, or R5 for Robonaut 5, is NASA's first bipedal robot, the first one with legs. She, yes Valkyrie's apparently one tough lady, will go where no Robonaut has gone before. She will explore harsh environments that are too much for current astronauts to take on just yet. So how much does it cost to build a robot that will be exploring the great unknown sometime soon? While copies of the original will cost 2.5 million, the first one took 7.6 million dollars. Apparently legs are just super expensive. While Hollywood has made a few adorable robots like R2-D2 or WALL-E, most robots in pop culture are terrifying. That's probably why there's been a push to make modern robots as non-threatening as possible. I mean, you don't see any cute Terminators. That likely also explains why the Italian Institute of Technology's iCub looks like he's right out of a kid's show. This bot was designed to learn how to behave in reaction to stimulus like its environment or human behavior. There are a ton of videos on online of iCub learning how to do everything from walking to tai chi to even playing the piano. It is strangely hypnotic to watch iCub slowly figure something out. You can even see how its brain works on computer monitors where it interprets visuals into data it can understand. What's really special about this is that once one iCub learns something, it can share this knowledge with all other iCubs. There are over 30 in operation right now and I'm sure that they don't share any information on our weaknesses or the best ways to take over the world. I mean, not yet anyway. So before you decide to go out and buy your own adorable robot kid who may or may not be learning all your secrets, just know that they cost $266 thousand dollars. Who doesn't want their own Transformer? I mean, there is a shocking lack of giant robot fights in the world today. I'm pleased to find out that I'm not the only one who has that opinion. Artist Kagoro Karada is a man after my giant robot loving heart. He too was disappointed to see all these tiny robots of the future, so he decided to do something about it. He designed a giant robot of his dreams. The Karada's robot is a giant rideable machine. The driver sits in the back and controls the the four-wheeled robot much like any other vehicle. The Karatas also has controllable arms which can pick objects up and put them back down. While it doesn't have any missile launchers, that doesn't mean it can't shoot projectiles. It is equipped with a specialized rotary cannon that unfortunately only fires water bottles, or at least that's what they're telling us. This giant robot dream costs $1.3 million to assemble. I just look forward to his next robot which will surely be 600 feet taller and ready to take down Megatron. I mean, somebody needs to be working on that, you know, just in case. There is no name more closely associated with robotics nowadays than Boston Dynamics. They very, very much deserve that reputation. They really started gaining notoriety thanks to their special robot dogs. That includes the cute little Spot, which is a quadruped robot that gets around really well, but I don't think plays fetch yet. Still, you can buy this little buddy for nearly $75,000. I mean, it can bring you a water bottle. How is that not worth 75 grand? What kind of application what a robot like this have in the real world though? Well, just ask the military, which nearly picked up their big dog robot for services in the field, but it was deemed too loud. You know how dogs are, barking at everything. Atlas is their most impressive robot to date. It is a humanoid robot that has real-time perception, a model predictive control that predicts how its own movement will evolve over time, and behavior libraries that allows it to do complex routines. Really though, those are just words. In order to really understand what that means, just watch Atlas do parkour. Was that worth the rumored two mil it spent to make Atlas? Absolutely it was. 
In the year 2000, Honda took a huge step forward into the future of robotics. Literally, they created a CMO, otherwise known as Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. Named after the famous sci-fi writer who himself was obsessed with robots, Isaac Asimov, a CMO was the most successful in a long line of robots Honda was working on. Ever since the 1980s, Honda was determined to make a bipedal humanoid robot that could walk up the stairs. Asimov's many talents included walking upstairs, playing soccer, dancing, and running, so mission accomplished. Beyond that, it could recognize human faces, gestures, and other moving objects, though perhaps its most impressive feature was its adorable design. This proved to be a huge PR success for Honda as the cute little bot started making appearances everywhere. This really paid off for the company because a CMO cost a little over a million to assemble. They then started renting them out for $150,000 a month. Today, a CMO is retired. Honda ceased all updates on the bot in 2018. It now stands practically as a work of art or a piece of history in a museum in Japan. How do you make a robot into a full-blown celebrity? Just ask Titan. This is a robot that isn't famous for being in Star Wars or Doctor Who, but just because it looks freaking awesome. Created by Cyberstein Robots, Titan was largely designed to be cool more than it was for any specific functionality. You can see that with its skull-shaped face and its body that not so subtly looks like a transformer. While other robots can do much more impressive things than Titan, few have Titan's level of showmanship. Its terrifying janky movements, bright colors, and large size easily captivate a crowd of people. Titan has performed all over the world on some pretty major venues. Titan robots have even performed alongside Rihanna on multiple occasions. Titan's videos have gone viral across the internet, it went to the Olympics, and it was available to hire for parties, events, and appearances. So how much does it cost to hire a robo-influencer? Well, the celebrity status of Titan certainly jacked up its price because it was rumored to be well over a million. It is worth noting that there are robots made specifically for combat, even if it's not giant robot combat. These robots are designed to either help soldiers in battle or do the battling themselves. Militaries around the world are either actively using robots or looking into the prices of what robot combatants or assistants might cost. For many of these robots, the prices are still a bit too high, but a few have managed to come in on the cheap. That includes the Dragon Runner, which rushes into dangerous environments and reports images or sounds in a 30 mile radius back to its operator. They are reported to cost less than $3,000 a piece. Then there's Acer or the Armored Combat Engineer robot. It is a car sized robot that's designed to clear debris, remove explosives, haul cargo, and serve as a platform for whatever else is needed. This 2.5 ton robot costs $250,000 each. Finally, we've got the big gun. I'm talking about the Ripsaw M5. It's basically an unmanned tank. Its guns can reload themselves and can swap between different types of ammunition, all without human support. Each one costs $295,000. Vehicles like this may very well reshape combat in the future. Well, combat and the Call of Duty series. There are a ton of robots getting made right now that look a little too human. I mean, these things are in Tom Hanks and Polar Express levels of creepy. Even if the technology used to create them is some of the most impressive work happening in the 21st century. First, we have Sophia. She is a social humanoid robot who will likely be the first one to decide that all humans need to be destroyed. She was activated by Hanson Robotics in 2016. Since then, she has made a ton of media appearances where she was simultaneously charming and super creepy. The most impressive thing about Sophia is that she can recognize specific humans, pick up on their emotions, and hold full conversations. While the company claims that Sophia could be used for healthcare, customer service, or education, it really seems like she was built to be dateable. Regardless, the commercial version, known as A Little Sophia, costs between $99 and $149. Then there's Amaka, who looks like her design goal was like, how can we make the robots from iRobot even more terrifying? Well, mission accomplished. Engineered Arts claims that Amaka is the most advanced humanoid robot ever built. 
Take that, Sophia. While its social simulation abilities seem to be similar to what Hanson Robotics cooked up, Amica actually has a full body and range of motion. Age apparently costs $133,000 to construct. My only question is, why do both of them have those creepy see-through skulls? Would a wig really have been too much? Apparently starting up a state-of-the-art AI prototype costs around $2,500. Man, Skynet's a lot cheaper than I thought it would be.